But I, I go, I might, I go with my daughter on uh, trips uh, with the school. Oh, the field trip. Oh, okay. On field trips, I'll chaperone, mm-hmm. and I go sometimes, and I, I volunteer for lunch recess, um, because that's a mess. There's nobody there doing it. Right. Lunch so the recess, kids, yeah. Kids don't get to. They get ten minutes to eat and twenty minutes to play, and that's it. They're back. Every day. It's too crowded. Back into their cells. <laughs> yeah, it really is Jesus. like a prison cafeteria. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I went on a trip once to the botanical gardens in the Bronx oh, with my oh, kids. Boar yeah. fest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, holy plants. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> holy plants. That's gonna Chairs. hold a bunch of first graders' attention. Yeah. But so we go up there, and we're on a bus, on a school bus, and it kind of gave me an insight into how the system works because the school bus. I think of it as like it's the school's com- bus company. Uh huh. These people drive school buses for the school. It's just a bus that the teacher called in, a <laughs> yellow bus driven by some idiot. I mean, it's like, it, so we get on the bus, and the guy turns to me. I'm the first parent he, behind him, and he goes, uh, Do you know how to get there? I'm like, What? Yeah, he asked me, Do you know how to get there? I'm like, No. And he goes, Can you find out how to get there? So we're in the West Dude, Village. I never remember stuff like this when I was. Yeah, so I call up on my phone. I I say, just go to the Bronx. We're going yeah, to the yeah. Bronx. So we're on the West Side Highway, and I call the lady. I call the Bronx Botanical Gardens, and I go, "Hi, I'm in a school bus full of children on the West Side Highway. I need to know how to get to you." And the lady says, "You can't take a school bus on the West Side Highway. That's illegal." <laughs> And I say this, this is a true story. I say this to the parent next to me, and she goes, yeah, this is not okay. This is really bad. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And it occurs to me, I've never seen any large vehicle on the West Side you Highway. Know, now that you mention yeah. it. <laughs> and when it gets up into the Bronx, it's twisty and turny, and it's not okay. And we're and you're forced into a high speed of traffic because it's y- crazy. Yeah, yeah. And so we go under an underpass, and I swear to God, we scrape the top <laughs> of the bus. The whole bus goes and shakes. Oh, <laughs> and I swear to God, the bus driver yells, "Oh, shh!" You know. Yeah. 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 Oh crap! What you yell when that happens? Yeah. And then the rest of the underpasses, he kind of ducks his own head down, really, <laughs> <laughs> like he kind of crouches. <laughs> Aims to the arch in the middle. It's a little higher. Uh, <laughs> but we got up there, and uh, nobody, I, you know, I brought waters. I asked the teacher, like, should I get a bunch of bottles of water? And she's like, I guess. And I thought, well, that's because I'm, like, over-parenting. No, it's because she just didn't care if people yeah, drank water. <laughs> and nobody brought sunblock. All, like, a lot of kids died. It was really, <laughs> it really sounds, was like. That just sounds like abuse. Yeah, what the hell? It was a disaster. But you know what? The kids, we, they, we packed these kids, these heated, it was like summertime, these sweltering hot kids, unfed, into a little tiny classroom they take you to these beautiful places and then pack you in a classroom and you have to listen to somebody oh, but God. the woman showed them how a seed becomes a plant yeah totally riveted audience oh really totally fascinated she was killing mm-hmm. yeah she was killing <laughs> i learned a lot yeah, about how plants grow. Right, yeah well i didn't know that an apple boring. is is food for the seeds inside of it i thought it wow i didn't know that i didn't either nor do i care now that Amazing. i do <laughs> <laughs> I hate apples even more now. <laughs> I, uh, I I remember field trips when I was a kid, going out on a field trip, and you'd have mm-hmm. to get your permission slip and uh, your parents sign. But I used to like having my mommy go on that because I was such a mommy boy, crybaby little wimpy ugh, girl. Girl, I was, and uh, I, I used to like my mommy to go. Yeah. But the the really bad thing is, like. I used to make her dress up like a whore. <laughs> what? Like, I really used to make her dress up like a whore. What do you mean you made her dress up? Well, where, where are those pumps, Mom? My, like, you'd make no, her... No, worse, because it, like, it was like the early 70s and stuff, and my mother was... She, she worked in, like, nightclubs. She was a go-go dancer and stuff like that. Like, my mom had it going well, on. mother was a whore then. Back in those totally... early days. Yeah. So... I'd go like, could you wear those uh, the knee high boots and <laughs> and the red so patent weird. leather sh- mini skirt uh-huh. and could you put your hair in pigtails? And I swear she would and she would do all this. Wow. She, she put her hair in pigtails and all the like kids would be like, oh, your mom is so pretty, <laughs> and, and I felt like good, like I felt all good, Ew, and and, wow. and we went we went to go see, you're a good man, Charlie Brown at Radio mm. City Music Hall. And uh, mom is a field mother, and uh, she wakes up that morning. We're supposed to leave, and she goes, oh, Anthony, I'm so sick. I'm so sorry. I can't go. 
<laughs> I start crying, and she's like, "All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do something." Yeah. So she's swigging Pepto Bismol. She was hung over oh to the God. point where she's puking. She got a horrible hangover. Now she's got to get whap, whap, <laughs> on some diesel-y bus, oh, yeah. dressed like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> with her daughter's son. Yeah, with her crying daughter's son. Her boy girl is, is, is in the passenger seat. <laughs> and we get there, and I'm making her, you know. Oh, I thought you meant her this. daughter's son, like uh, no, Sarah Palin. Just... Like her, no, no, her no, daughter no. had a kid, and she was covered. No, Palin's kid had more girl. dignity than this. Oh, I was just like... <laughs> Drop of a hat, and I was whimpering and weeping oh, yeah. as a child. Uh, so when she said she couldn't make it, I was just, <laughs> I lost my mind. She had to go and then get her hair in pigtails and get the friggin' patent leather mini skirt oh, with fishnet on. Pigtails for mom, huh? I made her put in, I go, put in the pigtails. Oh, this explains a lot, doesn't it? No kidding. <laughs> What's going on in your head? God. What? Oh, my God. I didn't even make that connection to you said that. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> like, that's so weird. See backwards. You think? How you think? Well, most people end up screwed up because they were molested by their parents, but you're yeah. screwed up because you molested your parents. I was trying to molest my parents. <laughs> it's totally opposite. Yeah. I was trying to molest my mom uh, at the time, I guess. Wow. Dressing Creepy. her up.